In today's video, I would like to tell you about the Theme API and its main use cases and functional capabilities. To do this, we will use this mashup example. This is a custom mashup designed specifically to demonstrate the main features of the theming API. Within this mashup, we can connect to a specific application and implement a certain scenario of working with the theming API. In this first scenario, using the API, we can get the current theme which is used in this application. After clicking on the button, we call the API, which we can see here. We can see which theme is currently used in the application on the visualization example of the map on the right hand side of the screen. By using the next scenario, we can see all themes that are present in the extensions library on the server. We can choose one that we are interested in and see how it will affect our visualization example. Additionally, we can save the theme in the application for further use. We can also use and apply themes via a custom link, which should be added after the main address of our mashup. Let's look more closely how this mashup was developed and which JavaScript was used to call all these APIs we discussed earlier. To do this, let's go to the developers hub on the server. Let's open our mashup. As you can see, this mashup is standard and consists of typical files, which are the descriptive part of click, the standard HTML5 or above file, and a JavaScript file in which we are connected to the server. Here you can see us calling the application and loading the visualization object, as well as calling the previously described API. Further down, you can see the code corresponding to the use cases we considered earlier. You will be able to find this code in the description of this video. For more information regarding using the theming API, go to our official help portal. We'll take a look at the Click Developer Help site shortly. First, let's take a look more closely how this JavaScript is working. To do this, let's move to our preview tab and close the right panel to get more objects on the sheet. Press F12 to open the debug mode and switch to the source tab. In the left-hand tree, we need to find our mashups JavaScript file. In this file, we need to find the section responsible for the button which calls the operation get theme from app. Let's mark some breaking points at the point when we click the button and go further down the script in this section to follow the logic. Let's press the button Get Theme From App. After pressing the button, we're stopping on the mark where the code is checking if we have saved the theme in the app. Let's move further down. On this step, we're applying our saved theme, Breathe, to the visualizations. And we proceed to updating console logs and header labels on the page. After executing this script, we can check the result by viewing the visualizations on the right and labels on the top. Let's follow the link to help.click.com. Now let's choose the appropriate section. Click Sends for Developers. As we're looking for information about the Theme API, let's type Theme in the search box. To refine the search result, go directly to the section Click Sends for Developers, in which we can find a description of all the APIs that currently exist for managing themes in Click Sense applications. For more information, you can always contact your local Click representative. Thank you very much.